so here we go. I know it's been a couple days, but you know what? Let's talk about our favorite superhero, Earth's mightiest superheroes, with along with Earth's wackest game as well. Let's talk about uh Marvel Avengers patch notes for the update of version one point three four. Wow. <clears throat> Pretty sure it ain't gonna be nothing about content. Like, you know. They didn't quite made it they didn't made it quite clear over the week that, you know, it, uh, it ain't gonna be no content with the delay of K Bishop and all that other shit and everything getting pushed back into twenty twenty one maybe. So here we got a little uh quality of life update. For those of you guys, those of you who were just wondering what the hell was going on with an update, you didn't hear anything about it yet. Uh, appreciate you for tuning in. Before we get started, like actually smack that like button down below, share this with video with all your people, and uh, check out my Discord. You know what? Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up to you. Boom! Check out the Discord, man. Uh, 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 I'll leave a link in that in the description down below. You can go over there and check it out. I've been working on it really hard. You know what I'm saying? Getting it set up so. Uh, this is what we got going on right here. Just go ahead and go swing over there, check it out, man. I got a bunch of little categories that we have, you know. Basically, I'm trying to build a community. Somebody a place where we can get together and we can do our thing and grow together. So check it out. You know, if you got any questions or whatever, stop on in. And then we just get set up. As you see, we on our way there. We got two members going on. Three members. I'm two members. Yeah. Two members. So yeah, we on our way. But back to the video. Uh. Man, I don't even want to talk about this shit because I, I, I'm still pissed up at, or pissed off at this game with the fact that here back on October 22nd, they said that they have released the, uh, their little We Fucked Up pack. You know, your little $15 worth of units and your 7,000 whatever, uh, uh, 7,000 credits, whatever, and your units. All that bullshit they gave you away in your, in your car, your little... Seriously, you're the best uh, uh, card, a uh, uh, fucking player card for that bitch of all people. Seriously, you're the best. That didn't even get pushed out with the last shit. That guy, we that 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 we actually had to wait for that. I don't even know if you even got it yet. But either way, it went. I I logged on on the twenty second and I got my damn reward, and I turned the game right back off because I didn't really want to even play. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't no new content. Y'all can. Sit up there and shield those tacky on rips all y'all want to. You can, you can sit up there talking about all the cosmic gear and oh, look at the high damage numbers because you know what? That's about all that game got right now. It's a bunch of replayable content that ain't got that. That's going to yield no little to no significant reward or oh my God feeling from it because the way it's set up is just absolute garbage, man. And y'all know that shit, but y'all continue to go ahead and think that, you know, this game is in a good condition right now. And I'm telling you right now, these kind of patches like these, they, they, they might help with the quality of life of the game. But you still got a long way to go to win a lot of people back because the number's still dropping. If you could, you could fix everything, make it run as smooth, it's still going to look the same. So, yeah. Let's go on and move in, and we're going to see. We talk about... uh. They talk about campaign shit again. Uh, multiple crashes and uh, issues resolved. Fixed an issue where players would sometimes go out of the world when doing the condition green. And fixed a rare issue where about with abomination becoming unresponsive. Now everybody know when the characters become unresponsive and they be on model mode in the game. They're just standing there like this, like they still get tested on and everything. Yeah, that is, I ain't played the game. So honestly, dude, I hadn't played the game in a couple of days, a couple of, almost a week or two. You know what I'm saying? So I couldn't tell you what's going on because it's just nothing there worth seeing that we hadn't already seen before. You know that, that I can make one hell of a setup using the gear that they provide me with, but in my opinion, the game is so lackluster that it just makes me not even want to play it. 
I could care less to even want to grind in it for any of the new shit. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't make any real sense for me to even be wasting my time with it, honestly. So, uh, on into multiplayer and matchmaking issues. Various matchmaking and uh, various matchmaking and invite improvements. I guess remove power level differences. The indicators doing what? Removed power level difference indicators during matchmaking to remove confusion regarding mission power and prepare for improvements to this uh, power display. So basically, you won't be seeing yourself with 9,999 power ratings or whatever. Or, uh, who knows? Maybe that's some kind of shit. Maybe that's something that you just won't see, you know, right away. So whatever it is, man, if it's affecting the game, if you're making it to where it seems like a motherfucker is actually that strong, but then in the, in the game and it's not looking like that, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody going to believe that they're that strong, but it's just the fact that it's happening. This is something that's been going on since beta. That's a problem that's been going on since beta. So the same thing with the problem with the fucking model mode characters and shit. That's beta issues. Shit that should have been ironed out since uh, before long. Resolved a, uh, resolved a rare issue where using quick match and any hero would break up an existing strike team. It's an issue, uh, in instance of HUD indicators not showing that an enemy is attempting to hack a terminal. Made tachyon orbs easy to see when indoors. Oh my god. Fixed an issue in tachyon rifts breakout where players would not reload to the proper location when reloading from a checkpoint. So. That bounce kind of would bounce back to uh, right here. Fixed the issues where players would sometimes go out of the world. So what you're not going to load me back where I was. You're just going to start me some on the other side of the map. And... <clears throat> May tell, oh, man. Fixed mission selection issues that sometimes occurs when players would join or leave the strike team while in the war table UI. Fixed an issue that I'm pretty sure they didn't lead. They probably got kicked. But fixed an issue that prevented joining via invites for players who weren't added as a friend. But it just is a multiplayer game. So if I did run into some random guy, you know what I'm saying, I would like to say, okay, man, you, you was a badass throw. We can make submissions, get through submissions, let's do it. But I can't send him an invite because he ain't on my friends list. It might have something to do with PlayStation and their UI hood, too. I'm going to do another video on that shit, too, and to explain basically how that fucking update does not apply to a PlayStation 4. I don't care how much y'all trying to integrate these two systems and what that could possibly mean about the really mean for these two systems in the future. But that's another video. So, uh, User interface. The quick match, quick match button is now visible within the war table. Okay. Fixed an issue with Kamala and whoever else is missing skill points for about damn time, huh? Now y'all finally get that one last move that y'all never got. <laughs> Improved off-screen project uh, projectile attack indicators. Fixed, fixed an issue where Black Widow was sometimes not gain intrinsic while performing takedowns. You should have fixed the issue where that bitch don't get no gear. So there's been plenty of missions that I've been seeing. A lot of people, was, they finish missions and she ain't getting no damn gear drops. I'm just saying. I play with that bitch if she ain't going to be able to level up, power up, or whatever. I'm just saying. Fix in some instances when enemies would not spawn. How many times you sit down, you can beat everybody's ass, and you stand around like, oh, what's next? What's next? Either somebody stuck on the outside of the fucking door, which bounces back to something they should have, they talked about, they fixed earlier or the motherfucker just never spawned and you have to reload the checkpoint which probably gonna end up finding yourself off in another fucking map that you wasn't even on in the first place this game's so fucking broken it don't make no goddamn sense why wow. fix the rare instance of captain america going out of the world when he used shield out the boy dive through the ground good lord almighty cap take it easy fixed an, an issue with some hulk outfit test textures what the boys outfits are garbage as it is the only ones that's worth wearing is the fucking champion outfit and the only you only got one style of that 
But back when y'all was releasing all this, oh, look what's coming out, look what's coming out. We seen the green Hulk with the world breaker, the practical world breaker Hulk. Y'all give us this dull, bland, gray Hulk in the same outfit, which, I, you know, is still cool, but the that Hulk represents this game, just dull. All right. Fixed uh, issue to prevent Ch Thor's challenge card nameplate from properly unlocking. Yet again, something else that should have been fixed. For fucking uh at launch and pretty much that's it as i said this update was actually about shit just something to make it seem like they were over there doing something rather than sitting on their motherfucking hands doing nothing ladies and gentlemen look i ain't here to, i'm not trying to bash these games man but you of all you gotta admit and you can go check out my boy with ray's ranch or realm of ray's tv on youtube check him out he feel the same way Bro, there's literally nothing to do in this world right now but sit here and play video games if you ain't trying to get back out there and get yourself sick. The fact that the video, if these people will understand y'all in the same position, trust me, I do. I really do. We all in this together. But y'all have the equipment to get this shit done. And the fact that y'all can't get it done is, it's, it, that, that's, that's worrisome. That's worse. That's worrisome. In, in the in the fact that I got to wonder if one of my favorite hobbies that I've been dealing with that's been helping me get through a lot of bad times or, you know, anything, hard times. Gaming is more than just sitting here gaming and trying to be a streamer so y'all can, you know, drop likes or, you know, buying for your, 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 your what you call that, uh, what's that word? I'm, I'm, I'm pandering to the crowd trying to make you like me and whatnot. It's more than just about that. If you motherfuckers can't put out a cohesive finished product, then how in the hell do you expect motherfuckers to come out money, come money out of their pocket? Sixty dollars. Now you finna be asking for seventy. I can't give you that if you're not gonna give me seventy dollars worth of content. You know what I'm saying? So don't sit up here and say, "Oh man, yeah, you just bashing the game." I ain't bashing the game. I ain't abusing the game. Bashing me. I paid eighty dollars for that shit, and I ain't played it in almost two or three weeks because I'm just tired of seeing the same shit with it. I'm sitting here jumping between game and game, trying to figure out what I can enjoy enough to want to stream, and I can't do that because what I want to play and enjoy is Avengers, but I can't do. It. So you can drop a comment down low, or like, dislike, whatever. I don't care on the video. Just make sure you drop something on it and let me know that you're hearing what I'm saying and you don't agree with this bullshit. When you paid your money for this game. You want what you paid for. We want what we paid for. Motherfucker, we want it and we want it now. When we call JG Wentworth on y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? Shit ain't cool. It's time to deliver. Fuck all that PlayStation 5 integration. We gotta work for them because we gonna we ain't gonna meet the deadline, man. That's that shit is gonna is gonna backfire and y'all gonna see. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Peace. Y'all, y'all do what y'all want with the information. Like I say, subscribe to the channel. Check out all my other channels. Check out the Discord if you want to conversate about this a little more with some other people, man. Get your people in there. We, we can make this really happen. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Peace.